exercising in space is not only possible, it's essential. Despite their busy schedules, astronauts exercise nearly two hours a day on the International Space Station. In the absence of the effects of gravity, if we don't do anything about it, very quickly our muscles get very weak and even our bones start to dissolve away. Why? Because everything is so lightweight here, there's no real need to be strong for daily life on orbit. But we know that we will come back to Earth one day, so for that you need to maintain your strength. Exercising in orbit is quite different from exercising on Earth. In the space gym, there are three pieces of exercise equipment. We can do stationary bicycle uh, on orbit. That's pretty similar to doing a stationary bicycle ride on Earth, except you don't have a saddle to sit on. You just wear a belt to keep you from floating away, and we have clip-on uh, shoes. There's also a treadmill. Uh, the trick there, of course, is to wear a harness with uh, bungees that keep us kind of cinched down to the treadmill, and that way we can run and remember how to walk, basically, when we come back. It also helps loading our spine and our bones. And then we have this machine, this contraption, AIRED, uh, to do basically the rest of our exercise uh, to maintain our strength and all our muscles. Uh, so we can't use dumbbells, of course, uh, in orbit, it wouldn't work, right, uh, in zero gravity. Uh, so we use this machine that uh, basically uh, uses the principle of uh, suction inside a vacuum uh, piston. And that's how we can exercise. After a long, hard workout, astronauts can feel sore too. The feeling of exercise on orbit is really similar to exercising on Earth. Uh, you know, you warm up, you stretch, and then you increase the load, and if you overdo it, yeah, it kind of hurts, and it's the same, the same feeling as exercising on Earth. The exercise routine is prepared and adjusted by specialized trainers throughout the mission. 